are you? Fine, thank you. How's Rack? <sighs> Stressful as usual. Okay, so did you inject anybody today? No. Do you want me to give you one? No, no, <laughs> stay far away from me. Why are you scared? No, I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Are you sure? So, where's that big head? She's inside the guest room. Okay. I have to wait back. <laughs> Come here. Mm, I miss you. <laughs> Just for some hours. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I miss my sister. <laughs> Hear my horn. Horn? No, I didn't. I see. You're seated, pressing your phone. Okay. And that was why you left me there to go open the gate myself. Alright? Since when did you employ me as your gate man? Eh, Madam Doctor? <laughs> it's not funny. See, you've been smoking again, right? Smoking? Yeah. No, I've not been smoking. Okay, so maybe this, what have you this, been up to? No, I've been with my phone. It's, maybe it's the air freshener, uh -huh. you know? Yes. What's over here? Sorry. Sorry. I'll tell dad about this. <sighs> Why don't you tell that? Why do you want to involve him in this? It's not necessary now. He said, I'm sorry, it was a mistake. It can happen again. Anyway, I hope you know you're making dinner tonight and you have to do that before dad comes back. I beg, I'm not the one cooking, it's you. <laughs> well, I need the last one. So it's your turn. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's find out who will. Rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. On three. Yeah. Rock, paper. <laughs> Let's go one more time. Okay. I just allowed you I'm in. winning. Shh. I'm winning. I just allowed you in. Oh. Just want to give okay. you a head start. Okay. Story. On three again. Yeah. <laughs> Be good. Let me alone, Joe. Leave my room, my Vic. <laughs> See? You have to make the food delicious. And if it's not delicious, you have to eat your own. Well, I'll put poison in your food. In my food? Uh -huh, no. I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smoke it. Don't smoke I won't. Nice. I told you I've stopped. Uh -huh. It was a mistake. It won't happen again. Uh -huh. Yeah. Surely I'm a good cook. <laughs> so Benjamin, why do you think it's not proper for a man to cook? I said all the time. So who is to cook all the time? Women, of course. Why? You know, women they, they take up the home and do all the stuff. Oh, and men don't take care of home. They do, in their own way. Let me look for this argument. If you want to discuss who prepared that one. Okay, Dad. Do you also think it's not proper for a man to cook? Anybody can cook the food. The gender doesn't matter. Did you hear that? Big it. Dad is only picking your side. But what Dad said is the truth. If I you keep quiet, what do you know? Benjamin. <laughs> Bianca, don't mind me. Well, yeah, you wanted to show that your school test result, right? Yes, I forgot. Let me get it. 
Tie them and tie them properly. Are you here? We will come to that, old man. Just calm down. Is there anyone else in this house? No, no, nobody. How can you lie to me? Where is your last daughter? She, 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 she's in school. Uh, yeah, 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 she's in school. She's in school. I would like to introduce myself. My name is Oscar Anzi, the first son of Chief Robert. What? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I am talking about. No, we don't. I'm the first child of my father and my late mother. The first child of your late mother, yes, but not of your father. Dad, what is he talking about? I don't know what he's talking about. What are you talking about? First you come in here with guns, tie me off with my family, and then you're cooking up lies against me. You look me in my face and deny me. Just like you denied me 30 years ago. You abandoned my mother because she was poor. And you wanted to reach me. You left us with nothing. Anyway, now I'm back to take everything that you denied me now. Do you know what you're talking about? You must be mistaking me for someone else. Mm -hmm. I am not mistaking you for anybody. No, I do not. I know who you are. And I've hated you all my life. Just say what you want and leave us alone. Please. Hmm. I should say what I want. Wow. Okay, now listen. Let me tell you what I want.
I want to see my late mother back to life. I want to wake up in the morning without having to see the picture of my mother in pain and agony. I want to wake up seeing the face of that man that made my life miserable and ruined my life even before it started. I want to make him feel pain. Did you say bygone? Yes. What he's trying to say is things will get better going forward. Yes, it will. And that is why I'm here. So, right now, Chief Robert, you are going to transfer 35 million naira into my account right here and now. And that way, your family will be free. 35 million naira. Where am I going to get that kind of money from? I don't have that kind of money. You see, I, I can do fine with you. Will you just shut up? You think we are here to play? I will kill your children one after the other before your very eyes. If you play games with us. <laughs> <laughs> See that right? <laughs> you just said five million. Did you see five million? I asked for thirty-five million naira. Five million naira will only settle my debt. After then, what? I don't have it. I don't have it. Um, Chief Robert. It seems you love joking with your life. Oh, this is not a joke. I beg of you, please. I don't have that kind of money. Ha! Huh. Now, which of you don't go back to wash back for a second? I'm going to give you a You said no one else is in this house. Please, no one else. Yes, no one. Please, just accept the five million naira and let us be. We promise not to say a word of this to anyone. What made that noise? We don't know. It might be rats. Ali, I think someone. No, 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 no,
if you are the only ones in this house, then why are you so scared? <sighs> Hello. Yes. Go and check the whole house. Go. Oh. It's just us. Why? Why are you doing this to us? I'm not doing anything to deserve this. Are you not a son of your father? Hmm. Even the Bible says. The saints of the Father shall come upon your children, children. <laughs> Do not bother yourself. He will be fine. He is going to bring down whosoever they are hiding in there. And when I'm done, if they are still not ready to do what I ask of them, I will be shooting their skulls one after the other. And thereafter, I will burn this house down to the ground. I have 500,000 there. And that little bank, I just have it all. <laughs> you have 500,000 Naira? I've been saving. Will you keep quiet? Do we look like some market women to you? How else can you? I can't, I can't give a market woman 500,000 Naira. My dear life savings. My dear, I'm not going to take your entire life savings. I'm asking your father to do that which we ask of him. But if he's not ready to do that, I am going to blow your skull right away. I have told you time and time again, I don't have that kind of money. I don't want me to believe that. That's the truth. <laughs> Bianca. Drop that gun. You will hurt yourself. Please. Bianca, please drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Bianca, please drop it. Sweetheart, why don't you listen to your parents? Huh? Come on. I am coming over to you. <laughs> 
don't move out, shoot. Bianca, you don't even know how to use a gun. Please drop it before you hurt yourself. I, I know how to. Just leave our house. I will shoot you. I can see you see a lot of boys. But have you ever seen a girl of your age? Have you even gone? I can see I am coming over. I want you to drop the gun. I am coming to take it from you. Okay? No. Everything will be fine. Now enough of that. Enough. You say you can treat him. Yes, but you have to promise me that you will not hurt any member of my family. You're giving me condition. Your friend is losing so much blood. Else you don't want him to survive it. going to kill anyone, not until you're done, then that will be our only argument. You have to help me lift him up. You have to treat him here. I can't concentrate here. And what? You think I'm going to let you take him out of my sight? If you don't want your friend to survive, no need of wasting our time.
I must commend your brethren. How old are you? I'm 16. 16? Wow. That's interesting. What did he do to Ali? I hit a bullet on his head and he fainted. Hmm. Who would doubt it? So could you please show me where he is? You too. While we are away, stay put and do not try anything stupid. Else, hey, you might not just see your daughter or your sister again. Hey, if you harm my child, I will find you and I will burn you to ashes. Just so you know. I can bring the agreement I have with your daughter and put a hole into your skull. Do not provoke me, old man. Do not provoke me! to do something. What do we do? We try standing up. Use your teeth to cut. Put behind my hands. Okay then, let's do it. I might use this to apply pressure so that I can get the medical kit. Okay, um, use this um, because it might hurt. So use this. Sorry. Please open your mouth. Please open your mouth. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. 
I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Oh, I we have to cut the trouser so I can see the wound clearly. <laughs> Sorry, I know it's gonna hurt, but just take it easy. It won't be much. Okay? Sorry, sorry, it, 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 sorry, it's not gonna be painful. Please, just hold on. Hold on, please. Sorry, sorry, please. Just hold on. Just hold on. Sorry. She came from behind. I didn't see her. So much for someone like you. I'm so sorry, boss. What are you sorry for? That she knocked you out and collected your gun to kill Nero. What? Is he all right? Ruined the whole of my plans. All because of your carelessness. Boss, if you allow me, I will touch all the money out and we will leave you at once. I will. You will do only what I ask you to do. Nothing more. Nothing less. Do you understand? Yes, boss. You're very lucky. It was just a grace. You say I'm lucky? Yeah. This kind of wound, you say I'm lucky? It should have been worse. So, uh, how are you going to do it? What are you going to do? I'm going to treat you to make sure you're fine. Some water. No, she don't need water for now. Tasty. You have a bullet wound. You don't need water for now. It's not advisable. But you can take it much later when you are fine. Why are you doing this? Doing what? Trying to save my life. I'm a doctor. My first instinct is to save lives. Even when my group and I are here to rob you. Well, let me just say, I'm only doing this to buy more time. Yeah. But don't worry, you'll be fine. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. Uh, you... 
might want to use that because this will really hurt. Okay? Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, it, 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 sorry, it's something you can't... You can't bear that. Wait. Uh, sorry, sorry, just be wait, calm. Wait, wait, wait! You, you, wait, 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 wait! You have to take it easy. You have to take it easy. Or don't you want to be fine? Sorry, you have to take it easy. Okay? Please. Take it easy, please. We need to do this so you'll be fine. Sorry, you just have to be it. You have to be it, okay? Sorry. Please allow me to treat you. Ah! Sorry. 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 You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Take it easy. So, could you please remind me where we start? Consider we don't have what you asked for. Just take the little that we have and go peacefully. Uh -huh. Or it will end badly for you. Uh -huh. you just shut up. Are you threatening me? No, no. I mean, he's not. Listen, I can raise 10 million. Just take it and go, please. Get my children alone. You know, my late mother used to tell me how you are. You only married your late wife because of her money. I never knew the depth of your greed, not until now. You're ready to give up your children. You're ready to have your children killed instead of giving us what we ask of you. You're such a very stupid, arrogant. How dare you talk to my father like that? One more word from you, I will break the crevice of your face. It seems you have something to do. Come on, show me. Leave my children alone. Go on, go on, show me. Leave my children alone. Ada. I'm sorry I'm making you go through this. I'm doing my job. What's yours? Call me baby. You don't look like a criminal or a killer. 
So why are you doing this? Um, I'm sorry. I'm asking too many questions. My mom is still. She needs so much money for her operation. Oscar said this is the only way to do this. This is the second time. We are doing this together. Don't you have family members? My mother is the only one I have. I am the only one she has. She has to do this. Okay. Buying lands, enjoying your stupid self. Hmm. <coughs> you have not until my judgment comes back. <coughs> then I will show you how the devil in me has grown. I told your mother to abort the child. But she decided not to. Oh, shut up! I said, shut my fault! Up. Shut up! Dad, <clears throat> is he really your son? Why don't you shoot? What are you waiting for? I told your mother to have bought you already. Dad. Not this thing you're doing here. Stop. Yes. Probably you are the one who killed her with all your problems. Dad, stop provoking him. Please. Let him shoot me. Shoot me. And walk around free. You killed your own father. Dad. Stop. Stop. Boss. Think about it. If you kill him, you will get your father. Who is telling me, Sean? Give Always admire doctors. It's zero to save life. It's selfless work and effort. Most times I feel no one notices. We do. We say prayers for you all in our heart. Uh, you pray? Yes. I used to serve as an altar boy in the church. So, 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 why the drastic change? The hardship and circumstances I found myself. I lost hope. I lost all of it. How to go out there, get bread, to survive, to animate. 
I'm sorry for what you must have been through. <clears throat> sorry. Sorry. I have never been cared for like this for a long while. My mother became ill and weak. For years I bore the burden on my shoulders. Seeing you show me so much care. Despite my horrible life. I'm really sorry. Nelly. You are not a bad person. Don't let any condition make you one. Ah! Sorry. You'll be fine. If you promise to help me, I'll turn in your leave. I promise. Let's survive this first. Okay? in jail. Oh yeah. Well, that reminds me. See what we have here. I'm sure this belongs to you. And so? Why don't you just take it and get out of our house? You sound so stupid. Well, Thank you for this anyway. One would think you were a good daddy's boy. This does not make me bad in any way. At least not like you. If this makes you a saint, then I want to be a saint. Boss, this is what I found in the boys' room. Wow. Now I understand where his courage is coming from. Wait. Tell me, you old man, do you know that your son smokes weed? Of course he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't. You take a look. Your man must have planted it there. Look at his eyes, his shoes all over there. So my sons, I found him in his home. <laughs> Why are you only in the middle of that of nothing? Get him out of our house. Anyway, um Ali, it's not so much of a big deal. Let the old man bask in his ignorance. Ali, boss, you can have this. Oh, thank you very much, boss. I'll be longing to have this. <laughs> if by the time I die, it's true. I did really not agree to that in which we actually. Before your very eyes, I will make sure that I'm your only child alive before I shoot you. You can decide to take that as a threat. Good for you. But if you think it's a law, that for you. Ali, go and 
chick. How many? Sorry. You yeah, must be in one of the rooms in there. Right away, boss. Right away. <laughs> the same way when my mother was dying. Worse enough, I wasn't allowed to join the doctors. I wanted to do everything to save her. But I couldn't. And then she died. I felt like my whole world has come to an end. Really sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you. After she was gone, I immediately had to grow up as the first child of the family. I understand. Everyone saw me as the first child of the family. I was to take care of my siblings. I was not to cry, but instead to console them. My mother really meant everything to me. I love my family so much. Nelly, the only reason I will never ever forgive you in this life is if any harm comes to my siblings or my father. I promise you that. I promise you that no harm will come to you or any of them. I'll make sure of that. What's going on here? I'm almost done. We don't have the whole time in the world. Ali, you hurt her. She said she's almost done. Show some gratitude to the person who saved my life out of your carelessness. What? Are you out of your senses? <sighs> gratitude, huh? May his big fat ass accept my gratitude. But hurry up. We have no time. hands are tied. You are on hostage in your own home. Wow. 
What an irony. Why didn't you use your education for something better? How did you know I'm educated? I hear you speak. So what? You want me to work tirelessly for nothing at the end. Many people do it. And they are contented. Who told you I am many people? You know, for someone who earlier gave a speech on condemning greediness, you are just as greedy. This will help for now. But make sure you go to the hospital. What if I come to your own hospital? You mean where I work? Yes. <laughs> That'll be fine. So, I can work now? Yes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Take it easy. Oh. Take it easy, okay? Ah. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Sorry. Please, help me wear my shoe. I like that name. Bianca, you see, your father does not want to do what we ask him to do. And this might cost your life. Stop it. Don't we'll talk to my daughter. Anymore. Oh, he did not want her to know the truth, right? <laughs> uh. Oh, here they come. Are you all right? I'm fine. Oscar, I need to talk to you. This is not the time. Okay. Chief Robert, you have 15 seconds before I drop your daughter dead. You remember the warning. 14, 13, 12. Don't do it, please. I beg you in the name of God, please. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Oscar, I need to talk to you now. 4, 3, 2. Nelly. What are you doing? I won't let you kill her. Nelly, step aside. Oscar, they don't deserve this. They don't. Let's take what they're offering and leave now. <laughs> Chief Robert, do you still want me to count down? No, 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 Ali, 
take that useless body out of this place. And you, what are you looking at? Haven't you seen a dead body before? Huh? Untie him. Take it in. Hey, hold on. Tie her up. And stay with them. You, come with me. Move, 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 move. What are you going to do now? What is your name? Didn't you see what just happened? He killed your own partner. And you still have his side? Shut up. Why do I feel that you still trust that heartless psychopath? He spent the whole time trying to save him and ended up killing him himself. I Do you actually think he will not do the same to you? He holds you in no regard. Uh, the slightest provocation. He will kill you. Just like this. Will you just shut up? Mike, please listen to me. Mm. Ali, if I were you, I would just put a bullet in his brains before he does the same to me. But I get it. You're not so smart. That will be the end of you. Okay. Okay. Ah! Find it. If you think you have intention of deceiving me, then you are going to regret it. No, come on. I'm serious. I, I, I kept it here and now I can't even find it. Then turn the whole room upside down.
Let's go. Find it. No. Everything will be fine. Okay. Oh my. Do we dare? Wait to. Wait to the worry self. As your yes, fat three so you not give me the key piece. Don't you have proper reasoning? I said I need to ease myself. How can you tell a woman to pee on herself? What do you want me to do? I need to go to my room. If it means you have to go with me, there's no problem. I need to ease myself. I need to pee. I'm not a sharp man. I'm sharp in here. I'm sharp in here. So gather waste, she don't even get caught away until they keep peace. I know my phone is somewhere here. I'll, I'll find it. Just give me a little time. You know, I'll, I I'll do find not have that time. Because I've been used to a lot of it. Just find that one now. What, what, what if I offer you my ATM and the password? Then you can go and withdraw. I just don't want you to have my children, please. So I stand at the ATM to withdraw your money, right? It's surprising to me that after working for you, after doing some several jobs for you successfully, you still take me for a fool. No, no, no. I, I don't take you to, for a fool. I, I just don't want any further delay. And I, I, just, uh, I just don't want you to hurt my children. Please. Please, Oscar. If I don't know you, I would say. Probably you're wasting time for the police to get here. But I know you will not call the police. Because you too are scared of the truth. No, the thing is, I'm just hoping that you would change your mind and collect the money. And, you know, and I find the phone. <gasps> please. So, you're hiding the phone? No, 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 please. I, I, let me look for it. I, I, I find it now. Just find it. Please. No! Please. Stand up. Haven't you seen a dead body before? Stand up and move. Bro, this is your father. You think I give a hoot about your father? Yes. Fine. We're fine. I'm fine. Why do you ask? I'm sorry, 
I understand. It's not like you're the Black Panther anyways. Right. Well, why did you think of Black Panther? You know I love Black Panther. And right now, I'm thinking about everything I love. Right. As you can see, I am that dead. <laughs> You still haven't found that one of yours. <sighs> no. I just remembered. I left the phone at the office. So I just remember he was here before, but I think when I went out to work, I I took it with me. Oh God. Should I get a pen and a sheet of paper for you to write your will? Because I'm about to shoot your skull. Listen, Oscar, I cannot, I can actually do the transfer for you tomorrow, honestly. I will not feel I crossed my heart. <laughs> I, I, I can't do the you transfer. You old man, are you that stupid? Thinking that I will leave this place without my money. By the time I finish dealing with you, then that phone of yours will leave your office and walk down to this place here and now. What? I can't. You are to call the police? No, 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 I didn't know. You've been here with me all this while. I didn't call the police. Please. You should know better. That plane fixed for me. <laughs> yes, I did. I'm fine. I'm fine. Who was that? Is that that? What did you do? I took their gun and I shot
Where is Ali? I don't know. I didn't see anything. What? Yeah. Behind you. Now. Ada, where's the other guy? I asked to go pee. And then he followed me. I stumbled on Nelly's gun and I took it. I guessed it when I could. Is he dead? Yes. Huh? There was nothing else I could do. Dad, that was the best you could do. I think we have to call the police right now. No. Yes. No? Why? I want to talk to him first. Dad, is his story about you abandoning his mom true? I didn't abandon Lisa. We parted ways. Dad? Is he your son? Talk to him. He does not listen to talk, Dad. He's unreasonable. I suggest we call the police now. No. He behaved the way he behaved because of what he had passed through. Um, I should have found him and taken care of him from the tender age. Are you blaming yourself for the monster he became? I have the chance to help him now. Let me do that. Okay, what about his partners? Is it cause of their death? Are you suggesting that we we'll cover that up too? Like I said, I will talk to him and then we'll think of something. We cannot cover this robbery up. They have been gone shots a few times. I'm very sure the police must have gotten information from the robbery. They will not be certain. It is coming from here. They will ask questions. And if we lie, we will go to jail for it. <sighs> I made up my mind. I'll talk to him, and then we'll know what to do. I'll keep this. Baby girl, listen to me. Everything will be fine. Have I ever lied to you before? No. So you believe me now? Yes. I'll be here for you, I promise. Hmm? Mm. Stay safe. I'll be right back. Okay?
Jesús y Néstor. ¿Por qué entras en los rayos de Dios? Dice Oscar. We haven't called the police on you because you are family and we want to help you. Help me? You haven't even called the police to save your own self. Not me. I do not need your help. That told you that this guy is a reasonable one. Now listen. What is he saying? Some people need a big brother in the house. <laughs> but let me bust your balls. I am not interested. Um, Oscar, you must understand that we want to help you. Because you were the one who brought robbers into this house. And now, their bodies are lying cold in my house. And we want to help you. Then call the ambulance. I do not need your help. Why don't you just understand that we want to help you? Help me? What do you want to help me with? With your sympathy for what? I do not need your sympathy, not that you also need your mercy. You can't even help me because you cannot bring back my mother. You're not the only one who lost your mother here, you fool. Stop being a bitch about it. You came into our house with men and guns to rob us of 35 million naira, and you expect us to show you any sympathy. I am going to be a big fool to answer a drug addict like you. So fool. Ah! Hey, 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 hey. Ah! Don't do that. Stay Stay Can I have the gun? Made a mistake. Allow me to right the wrongs. Why now? You've always known that I was your son. You used me for your dirty jobs. Even when you knew I could die or be arrested. I accept my mistake. I will do things better going forward. Just let me. Go to hell, old man.
need to be calm and think straight. All of a sudden, you don't want to call the police again. Huh? Let's just see what Father wants to do. I know you you might be thinking that he's making a mistake, but let's just give him benefit of doubt. So because he's that son, he should get away with this nonsense that he has done? I never said so. See, but that's what Dad is actually planning. I need you to be calm. You're just a pathetic psychopath. You know you shouldn't be talking to your fellow brother oh. like that in such a manner. Or were you not taught to respect? Enough. Enough of all this. I'm tired of all this. So Dad, what is your conclusion? We call the police. Police immediately. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. So, Dad, I've called the police. They said they're on their way already. Remember what he did? Yes. He's likely to spend the rest of his miserable life in jail. Mm. 
Good day, sir. I presume you are Mr. Robert Anozi. Yes, sir. All right, I am Detective Danjima from CSCID. I'm the one investigating the robbery that took place here two days ago. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Please sit. Oh, thank you. <sighs> Think a code what I will do for now. Right. Okay, sir, just a minute. All right. Thank you. So, Mr. Roberts, Well, um, so far so good. We spoke to Mr. Oscar. He told us that he and his guys works for you. That you punish them because they failed to get a job done. What? I have no sense. Detective, that is not true at all. I mean, these people came here, robbed my family and I, put our lives out of this, spent so much time here. I feared for my little girl. It's only God that saved us that night. And if they truly came to rob, how come they spent so much time? Well, one of them was wounded. And you asked your daughter to treat him? Yes. I mean, my daughter is a very good doctor and uh, by ethics of their profession, they are meant to save lives. And uh, by the way, we use that again to buy time for ourselves. Yes. 
That's why we're still alive. Indeed. He also said that he's your son. How true is that? <laughs> Anybody can kill him. He has not proof to that. He said that his mother's name is Lisa Anderson. Chief Robert, did you have anything with this woman? You know, in life as you grow up in our younger days, uh, one or two things. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> and isn't that enough proof? Yes, something doesn't just add up, and I am here to find out what that is. The fact that he came to rob you, and the first thing he did was sit on your couch, or maxed himself, and from your statement, sir, at some point he walked over, poured himself a glass of vodka. From all this, it implies that he was so comfortable, and the question is, why? Very simple. There is one man who thought he was family. No, I don't think so. He doesn't see you as a father. I think the reason he was so comfortable because he knew you wouldn't call the police. So why? And why would he think that? That is the second question. Welcome. Welcome, my daughter. Uh, this is the detective investigating the robberies. Hi, Ada. I am Detective Danjuma. Hello. Detective, saying that he feels that something doesn't add up. Saying that he feels that Oscar was too relaxed during the robbery. What does that have to do with us? Not just that. He also led his guard so low to lose two of his partners. One of which he shot to death himself. Hmm? That bastard made us to suffer that night. My younger sister is too traumatized. I just made an arrangement for her to meet with a therapist to help her sanity. Why all this questioning? Or are you thinking we have something to do with this? No. Or are you trying to say we cooked it up? No. He also said that he works for your father. Oh, come on. Come on, detective. I've said this time and time again. That that's a lie. Chief, have you in any way met with this guy before the day of the robbery? That was my first time I've ever seen him. How come you accept a stranger call you father even before he gave the details? Detective, I don't understand what you're talking about. These people, they came to rob us and they were ready to do anything, even to kill us. If that is true. Detective, I'm telling you, it is the truth. In that case, everything practically adds up. What adds up? Mr. Oscar is your father's son. Chief Roberts. You knew all the while that he was your son. But when he found out that you were his father, whom he hated with so much passion, he decided to bring his wrath on your doorstep, knowing that you will not call the police because you want to save your own self. 
What is it with this silly analysis you are making? I've told you times with that number that I don't know him. That night was the first time I ever saw him. Really? <sighs> Chief Robert, please, I'd like you to take a look at this. Dad? I'm sorry I lied. Dad? Chief Robert, I'm sorry you have to follow me to the station for further questioning. Uh, I'd like to have a little time with my children. Mm -hmm. Sir, you have enough time, but for now, let's go. Just for question now. 